This is a quick introductory video just to show using multi-placement that's in the goal features. So if you were to tap that little eye, you could take an on-screen tutorial and that would explain everything. It's very good, um, but we're going to go on into Select and Sew. And we'll pick a block to start out with and we're going to open it. And we're going to go ahead and tap on multi-placement. And there's a little introductory um, message there. We're going to tap on OK. Um, so one thing about multi-placement is like on a, um, on, a, on a quilt like this, and this is already quilted. I just put it on the rails just so I could have blocks to go by. But if I wanted to do a different pattern in each block, I could. And I could do different margins with it. Um, I could do the same um, pattern and I could change things about it. I could rotate it. So there's just a lot that you can do by being able to individually design each block because that, cause that's what you're doing with multi-placement. So um, to start out, um, I went ahead and in all, I went ahead and picked four points. Um, you don't have to pick four points. It's just a matter of, of what you're doing. Um, but since we're doing just little blocks across, that's what I pick. So I'm going to do that. Oh, I know why it's doing I'm panicking, thinking, why is it saying I'm out of safe area? It's because I haven't um, placed the other things. It still thinks that the block is bigger than what it is. Okay. Okay. But as soon as I do this, then it's back in the safe area. So, all right. So now we're good. Okay, so... So once you select your pattern, then you have these choices over here that when you tap on it, it um, that's that's actually what will will quilt. But it's also what you get to set. I don't know if that makes sense or not. But um, but if I wanted to stitch in the ditch, meaning I wanted to stitch um, on the seam line, then I would tap ditch and and. It's hard to see, but then a blue line shows, and that means it's selected to quilt. So if I want to make my teddy bear be smaller, then I can start tapping on um, on this. And if I wanted an extra line to stitch, then I could tap on margin, and you see it turns blue. So now that will stitch. So I can make the teddy bear be a little smaller and and then I can tap on now you see he's still gray right now, meaning that teddy bear won't won't quilt yet. I have to tap on pattern. And it then it asks me, would you like to place this pattern again? If I say yes, then another teddy bear appears. But if I think, you know, I really don't want to, then I can select pattern and I could pick the butterfly. But if I did want to repeat that teddy bear, then that's a quick way to do it. Um, if I wanted to just do lines, so this is kind of cool, then I could say ditch. You know, wait, let me go ahead and place it though. I'll go ahead and place it. So we'll do that. And that. Okay, so now we've got um, this place, but now the, the ditch is still sitting there. Great. So let's see. You know what? I'm going to tap on that X last and just take it away and say yes. So that removed um, what I did. Um, so since I've already um, tapped on ditch for that first one, I'm not going to tap on it again, and I'm going to start shrinking it. And I'm going to say margin, and I'm going to shrink some more. And I'm, I'm obviously just being sloppy. And margin again, and margin again. And I don't, I don't even have to um, quilt that butterfly. I can leave it unselected and just, just have lines quilt. I could literally do a block with, with just lines. You would have a lot of jump stitches from, from um, each square to the next one. But you're going to get that with blocks. So um, so now um, 
I can say select pattern and let's pick, I don't know, let's pick the hammer. So we'll say the hammer. Okay, and we'll place it in a block. And again, I'm being very sloppy here, just very sloppy. Okay, and we'll go ahead and we'll tap on ditch. So now you can see that it is in blue there. And we will, um, let's see, let's shrink him. And we'll go ahead and do a, do a margin. We don't have to. Uh, if you don't want any margin, you don't have to select it. And then we'll make him be smaller. And then let's rotate it. Let's and rotate it however much. So that looks kind of neat. So if I tap on pattern, um, I'm going to say no. We don't want to do it again. But now the, the pattern is lit up in blue. So that lets me know I've selected it over here and it's going to stitch. So I can select another pattern. Um, let's see, I can pick anything, so let's pick that butterfly, and let's place him, okay, and I'm going to make him smaller and I'm going to tap on margins and pattern and I'm going to say yes and this will be the last one and tap there 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 and there and we'll make him smaller. And I'm not going to tap on either ditch or margin. I'm I'm going to um, turn him around and flip him. There we go. So now the butterflies are facing each other. So um, he's still in gray because I haven't tapped pattern. So when I tap on pattern, and I'm going to say no. Um, but now when I tap on quilt, everything that you see in blue, um, so I'm going to go ahead and tap on quilt, that's what's going to quilt. And then you can see the blue dots, those are all going to be jump stitches from one thing to another. Um, and then it would quilt and then it would say finished and back to placement when it was done. So we're just going to go ahead and say back. And at this point, um, I would be ready to advance my quilt um, or do another row if I didn't have to advance it. And I can say, um, if I just say last, then it's going to remove that last one. So I'm going to say yes to remove that last one. And you can see it turned gray. If I tap on this all, then they all are going to go away. Except why didn't that one go away? I don't know. That's weird. Oh, I bet because I'm in select and so, and maybe one has to stay selected. You know, sometimes you learn things just as you play. So I bet if I did this, um, yeah. So now we're back to start. But that's that's how you use the multi-placement. Um, you select your um, your pattern, and and then and then you you place it. And don't panic when it tells you you're out of safe area because you haven't done the bottom, which makes it be smaller and makes it inside the safe area. And now everything you want to do, you, you, you are just tapping on that as you do it. When you tap on ditch, you get your ditch. Um, your margin is, is, is wherever, whatever size that your bl block is at the time that you tap it. So that's why if I do that and tap margin, I get that line, but I can still decrease some more, say margin again, still decrease some more. Um, every, everything I do is I tap over here turns blue, and now I tap on the pattern. 
Um, and then as soon as I do, it asks me about placing it. So if I say yes, I get another one. So um, multi-placement is, is very nice for being able to do um, a, a row across of blocks without having to stop, other than you will have jump stitches. So I hope you found this video helpful.